Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to do question 1 from paper 3 of October November variant 33. Question 1 states about the manufacturing business which transfers its finished goods from manufacturing to the final accounts at a markup percentage which has been fixed for some years. It gives us further information about sales revenue, prime cost, factory overheads, distribution cost, administrative expenses, financial charges, opening and closing work in progress and opening and closing inventory. In addition, it provides us the information about the provision of unrealized profit account and it also states about the rent and how it should be distributed and the tax charges for the year. In the first bit of the question, we are asked to calculate the factory profit. And if you see in the question, the information given states that the factory profit remained unchanged for some years. Hence, we can calculate the marker percentage of the factory profit using the information given related to the beginning of the year or the information about the end of the year. Both of this will give us the same answer. Here I am going to show you both the calculations. You can do either one of it. So, it will be sufficient for your answer. To calculate the marker percentage of factory profit, we will use the formula, the provision for unrealized profit times 100 divided by the factory cost of finished goods at cost price. In this formula, we want the inventory at cost price, whereas if we see in the question, the inventory is given at the transfer price. So, to get the value at cost price, we take the, invent, uh, the value of the inventory at transfer price. From this, we subtract the uh, value of the provision for unrealized profit. We will get the value of the inventory at cost price. So, we will take $126,000 from which we subtract uh, $21,000 and we get the value as $105,000. When we apply it in the formula provision for unrealized profit which is $21,000 divided by $105,000 we times 100 we get the factory profit as 20%. Next, we are going to calculate the percentage of the factory profit using the information given related to the end of the year. So, if we calculate the markup percentage of the factory profit using the same pro uh, formula, that is the provision for unrealized profit times 100 divided by the factory profit of the finished goods at cost price. Now, we are going to use the information related to the 31st December 2017. So, here the value of inventory of finished goods at transfer price is 96,000. So, to get the value at cost price, we are going to subtract the value which is given related to the provision for unrealized profit on 31st December 2017, which is 16,000. Once we subtract it, we get the value of inventory at cost price as $80,000. And once we apply the same, uh, the whole thing in the formula, we get the value of factory profit as 20%. In calculating the value of the percentage of the factory profit in first way or using the second way, we get the value same that is 20 percent. So, doing the calculation in any one way will be sufficient. The second bit of the question, we are asked to prepare manufacturing account. Let us first calculate all the information given in the adjustment for the manufacturing accounts. It was given in the second bit of the question that the total rent of the business was $100,000 and all of this was included in administrative expenses by mistake, whereas 50% of this rent belongs to factory. Hence, we need to find 50% of $100,000 which is $50,000 and add it to the factory overheads to get the accurate factory overheads. When we do so, we get the factory overheads as $202,000. Now, as we have all the information related to the manufacturing account, let's make the manufacturing account. We start the manufacturing account by writing the value of prime cost given in the question to which we add the factory overheads calculated in the working notes. Once we are done with it, we do the entries for work in progress. By taking the opening value of work in progress as 17,000, 
from which we subtract 25,000, we get the value of 8,000 which will be subtracted from the total of $982,000. We get the factory cost of finished goods that is $974,000. We take this value and find the factory profit by multiplying it with 20%. Once we are done with this, we add both the factory cost of finished goods and factory profit. We get the value which will be transferred to the income statement. In the third bit of the question, we are asked to make the income statement. For this, we will proceed with our working notes, taking the same point 2 where we need to allocate the rent to the office factory and distributive expenses, we will do the further calculation. We will take the rent for distributive center which is 25% of $100,000. We will get the value of $25,000. This we will add to the distributive cost to get the total distributive cost. Further, we will take the administrative expenses from which we will subtract the factory rent and distributive center rent which was incorrectly allocated as administrative expenses and once we do this we get the rectified value of administrative expense as $268,100. Now once we are done with the work working of all the adjustments we will proceed further to make the income statement. Now let's make the income statement. We'll start with the revenue which is given in the question and we'll take the opening value of the inventory that is the value of inventory on 1st of January 2017. To this we add the cost of good transferred which was uh, from manufacturing account which was calculated in the bid B of this question and from this we subtract the closing value of inventory we get the cost of sales. When we subtract the cost of sales from the sales revenue, we get the gross profit. From gross profit, we subtract the other overheads that is the distributive cost and the administrative expenses which was calculated in the working notes. Then we get the value to which we add the factory profit and also the decrease in the provision for unrealized profit. Then we get the profit from the operation. Once we get this value, we subtract the financial charges we get the profit before tax. From this we subtract the value of tax and we get the profit for the year which concludes the income statement. In the information given before the bit D of the question it is stated that the company has an opportunity to buy the goods at a cost less than 5% of the cost of manufacturing the goods. We are asked to give advice to the director whether they should take up this opportunity or not. We can say that to buy the goods at a cost lesser than the cost of manufacturing will be profitable to the company. But the directors should consider various qualitative factors before deciding whether to buy the product or to make the product. I have stated few of the qualitative factors which can be used as a support for the answer like whether the, there is a guarantee of supply, in future whether there will be an increase in the price, what will be the quality of the product and how it will be different from what we are producing, what are the alternative uses of the resources which we are using in the production process if we stop manufacturing the goods like how the machineries will be used, how the employees will be used, we, do we need to lay out few of our employees, how they are going to be paid and if we want to stop, uh, start our production in future, how we are going to re-employ the staff. So all these factors should be considered before making the decision. In the E bit of the question, we are asked what is meant by prime cost. Prime cost is the sum of total direct material plus total direct labor plus total direct expense. Next we are asked an example of prime cost. The example of prime cost can be purchase of raw material, the carriage charges paid on bringing the raw material, 
or the wages paid when producing the product next we are asked to give one example of the factory overhead so example of factory overhead can be depreciation of the factory ma uh, machinery supervisor salary factory rent factory insurance lastly i have stated few websites from where you can download the past papers so keep practicing and have a great life